my oldest memory of the of the classic games was hearing from my friends that they had the TMNT arcade game at the local arcade and our parents didn't want us to go to the arcade because we were so young, but they were like, just, you know, harass them so hard to be able to actually go there and they accepted. So we went there, pocket full of quarters, the big cab is there. We can't like even see the screen correctly because we're super young. And then playing the game for the first time was just mind blowing because it was just like a cartoon that you would be part of. I've worked on a TMNT game before, but it's the first time I work on the, the 87 uh, version of it, which is the version of TMNT that I grew up with. And um, I think what make it, makes it really good is all the, the, is the tone, like it's really upbeat and all the, the, the crazy characters of the series, how the, the game is easy to pick up and play. and also having fun with friends. Yeah, it's really a multiplayer experience for sure. I think this is the core of the games. I mean, it's the core of the Turtles to be being a family, being with friends, having fun. So I think it all builds up to make like the perfect thing for a video game. I replayed all of the games at the start of the production. What I took the most from the classic games is the pacing of the game, like how fast everything is. The game plays almost like a shoot em up where enemies enter the screen in patterns and you have to kind of get into that rhythm to manage the crowds and, and, and beat the levels. Each level is designed as an episode. Yeah, and also it was something that was very present in the previous arcade games. You know, you see the boss coming in at one point during the level, doing shenanigans and then proceed uh, with the stage. So I think it was something that was like, iconic to the, to the DNA of the game so that we really wanted to have, you know, back. We also wanted the game to have a high skill ceiling that the players who want to master the game can still improve and get better. I think another way for us to kind of balance the game between retro and modern was to offer two different game modes. So, of course, you have the classic arcade mode in which you just jump into the game, you have limited life and credits for continues, and if you run out of them, it's over, it's game over, and there's no extra quarters to save you this time. Uh, so this is perfect if you just want to play with friends, you know, and complete the game in one sitting. Uh, but we also wanted to reach a wider audience, so we decided to go with the story mode, which uh, uh, presents the stages uh, on the world map. It, it is actually uh, New York City. Uh, well, New York City based on the cartoon show, for sure. But, uh, and in this mode, you just unlock the stages one after the other, but you can also backtrack and go replay those stages again. So you can complete some special requests or even uh, challenges for, uh, that are scattered into the game. So uh, these things are unique to the story mode. Also, multiplayer is part of the, the, the whole DNA of the game itself. So we really wanted to make a, a multiplayer experience at first. So that means a, a super easy to jump in, jump out game. So there's, uh, you can play locally or online, uh, but the whole game design also supports the multiplayer. So now we finally have some party pizzas. So no more fighting uh, to, to who gets the pizza or not for the, the HP points. So everybody gets a slice, but don't worry. We still have some normal pizzas that you will be able to fight for. We also have some uh, co-op moves that can occur during the fight. You can pick up one of your friends and throw him as a, as a cannonball. So these moves are super fun to, uh, to perform because they're easy to trigger. In the, the classic games, the characters would have all the, the same moves, same reach, even though if the animations look different. And I think it was fine, like it, it made these games well balanced. But we needed to freshen that a little bit. So um, we not only made some, like the classic, recipe is to make one character yeah. faster and the other one slower but stronger. We went a bit beyond that. And we really wanted to make sure that all of the characters would feel like you're really playing them by having the way that they react to be based on what they are in terms of personalities. And that's why we're so excited to introduce uh, April and uh, Master Splinter to the game too, because we wanted them to be different from the Turtles. Uh, we also, we really wanted to have April in because I mean, she's been hanging out with the Turtles for so long. So we were just telling ourselves, well, for sure, she's gonna learn some moves along the way and be able to, you know, just uh, fight alongside the boys. But at the same time, uh, she's not, you know, she's not a turtle. So she has to be able to move in a different way and be faster yet and, and a bit more acrobatic. So that was a, 
some of the things we're so happy to be able to explore this time. Whole cast of characters that are very colorful, that are full of uh, playfulness. I mean, they're all funny. I think it works so well as a video game. And I think it's also one of the reasons why it was so popular and engraved so well in our memories. There's so many characters in this, uh, in this universe and the rogue gallery is very wide. So you really want to make sure that you have familiar faces and you know, uh, characters that are well beloved by everyone, but also bring new characters to the, to the video game. It's just when, when you play with all of your TMNT toys when you're 10 years old and you just bring them all in together, it's, this, it's pretty much the same thing we're doing right now. Yeah. We have over like uh, 20 bosses characters, so uh, it's, uh, it's quite a lot, <laughs> to be honest. I think it's going to be a treat. Uh, there's a, the game has surprises around every corner. Yeah, I think the fans will be very happy also because we put, put in so many little, you know, cameos, uh, some uh, Easter eggs and references to not only the series, but all of the TMT universe. I think that, that, that we, we, we really had fun on this one, trying to uh, come up with uh, so many different ideas on how to put this in. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs>